Alright guys, this video is going to be about frequency weapons which uh, they're also likened to mind control weapons um, one of the first raps I made you know um, while on YouTube was Gangster in the Church I made a recent uh, new version on the End Times channel uh, this is the music channel here okay so uh, yeah check that out I'll just give you a little um, clip from this in a second but we're just going to go through some of the frequencies heard all around the world uh, I've done videos, we've all seen the videos on the, the trumpets and the shofar sounds but uh, I think it's Reverend Michelle Hopkins who makes videos about she thinks that the speakers beaming down from space but I've refuted that there's no way they could be loud enough to reach the earth but if you've got sonic weapons which are high vibration weapons which are known to exist um, from the rail guns which exist in the, in the Navy um, for the past well well over a few decades and they got even uh, very much vibration high frequency weapons and, and these are the things which uh, are causing uh, these are weapons which are hidden which I believe there's not a lot of YouTube videos about so we're just going to touch on this uh, very subject right now this kind of sky is real. Sharper than a mind control weapon. Faster than fast food when you beat that Sonic seal. I first got you prepping. Now to be a step in for knowledge. But the chemtrails got your mind roped up on a wheel. You just hooked up, cause you never looked up to the King Yahweh who can save your soul for real. That's right, Jesus Christ. The man that I am. Not the yes that I can man. The White House and a plane plan. <laughs> yeah, if you believe that scam. Okay, so you can see see from this website, um, there's different hertz, different frequencies that can actually alter your mood as well. Uh, that can produce feelings of guilt and fear. That can uh, produce affect relationships, um, produce emotions of love, hatred, um, despair, transformation, even miracles. Um, there has been none to use such devices to correct um, well I guess a lot of new agers use it for to try and to try and heal people they use uh, stones and different things so they'll let's say for example they'll think of an emotion like love and they'll try to charge a stone uh, with that frequency that's how the, the sort of new age uh, healing type of things work um, has a very very limited um, uh, effect to be honest uh, if you're a saved man it's just all that is just uh, child's play um, if you really want to be healed come to Jesus Christ um, but the fact is that these frequencies do actually affect people especially unsaved people um, you know obviously in the Bible it talks about the helmet of salvation okay so you really don't need to wear a tinfoil hat if you're saved you know if you're wearing that helmet of salvation a lot of these frequencies that are being pumped into the atmosphere hitting the earth from space and wherever else they've got them uh, the Holy Spirit will um, protect you from these uh, events they, they can also uh, use these devices to open up uh, space gates they can also use these devices and aim it at people for a, a whole number of, of, of different reasons um, some of them can be fatal some of them can be used um, spiritually to actually um, cause people to get possessed by demons as well they, they, because demons do resonate at particular frequencies as well so if you're fe feeling very low guilt and fear then demons can get into your soul and this is why in the Holy Spirit um, I don't believe in all this resonating I believe that the Holy Spirit is, is way way beyond um, anything that, that that's in creation because I believe that the Holy Spirit is Yahweh and is from the Father um, is only given through the Son if you're truly anointed of, of Yahweh you'll know what I'm saying if you're not, then you have no idea what I'm talking about.
but the Holy Spirit um, is our sword, our shield, our helmet of salvation. Um, and we can only receive these uh, wonderful weapons from heaven in, in the name of Jesus Christ against what Satan is doing here on the earth. Okay, so this you can see what the New Agers are um, studying and what just what's been going on since about the past seven years or so. You can scan through this uh, website. All I really did was type in... Um, Frequency weapons, I think it was. Let me just double check that. Yeah, that's it. Raising frequency of Earth, and these websites came up. So, there's like the first website that came up. Um, there, uh, you know, a lot of the websites, the so called, um, you know, these Ashtar command uh, things, which they're actually. Ashtar and Ishtar and all that they're mentioned in the Old Testament as fallen angels you see there's many websites about that and you get these Nephilim who, who pose as space aliens saying oh we have to raise the frequency of the earth you know um, yeah there we go uh, pure bright energy place feels good so what, what they're saying is that the higher the the, the resonance or the frequency or the higher the earth resonates then the more people will be good sounds like works based salvation to me because ever, ever, everyone is walking around thinking that they're gods and that everything they do is good then see this is a this is another deception this is another mind control weapon that Satan's using in the last days <clears throat> because you'll notice that people are, people are having less and less conscience towards sin you know, if you go into these uh, New Age churches where you get Joyce Meyer, TV evangelists, they're quite openly saying you can't sin. The bottom line is you just can't sin if you go to their church. They don't even get people to say the sinner's prayer. They just literally say, well, here's a Bible. You can't sin anymore. You're a Christian. You know, you just go around thinking you're good, doing good. And it's all works-based salvation. There's no actual... Um, deep um, regret and repentance towards sin. You need that to be saved, friends. And you know, there's only a few on YouTube that 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 preach that gospel. And I got to, I got to try to stay friends and have some sort of loyalty towards these Christians, even though you know we're we're all being attacked in some way. But I, I think that so you can see what what this is about. Again, this is about being good. When a person vibrates with lower frequencies, it becomes very difficult for them to be good. Now, this is all for unsafe people. They virtually cannot be good no matter how hard they try, really. When a person vibrates with the higher frequencies, it's easier for them to be good, you see. works based This is Lucifer. Um, changing the frequencies and the resonance of the earth to make it more like heaven yeah but we know as Christians that heaven is far far um, greater than just a bunch of frequencies uh, this is a message uh, I get so many messages sorry guys if one of your messages has fallen into spam uh, the spam folder it wasn't me that, that puts it in there I have to go in here quite regularly to rescue a lot of comments out of there um, I need to watch this video, <clears throat> but this is something that someone has said here. Um, the first guy that sees what I've been saying, so this is a video I did about the pole shift. I put a couple of videos together um, that does make quite a bit of sense as to what's been going on with the Mandela effect, the change of the star positions, um, change in our, our part of the galaxy all these different sort of things so this person is saying the planet is being repositioned I love the way they just say it you know in, in the third person your planet is being repositioned to its original orientation in your relation to your son <laughs> uh, it's interesting but again they're talking about frequencies and uh, that type of thing okay 
Now this is from Canada. This has been going on all around the world and it's high vibrations. And there's been a few videos I've seen recently, um, people linking it to underground tunnels being being dug. There's, I believe there's many hundreds of underground bases being um, created by all the governments of the earth. Why? Is it because of Planet X or is it because of the second coming of Jesus? I mean, the Bible talks about that the rich men of the earth um, go into the rocks and try and hide themselves when the coming of the Son of Man happens. Um, is Planet X real? Um, yeah, I think it is. So we, ju we just have to wait until um, things play out. I think there's one Christian that believes that Planet X is actually uh, Jesus Christ coming, um, second coming, and it's visible in space. But I'm not. I'm not sure about that. But let's just watch a little bit of this video. If it's going to go. There we go. Hey, the rumbling is going on again. It's 7 in the morning. 
Stephen L. Sanderson actually made a review to video to Brian Denlinger. Wasn't aware of that, but there we go. <laughs> Been going back and forward and did obviously a video about him and Chris LaSala as well. Little single word that you just pick it, pick, 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 pick. They just cut the whole thing up. I mean, you know, this whole uh, you and that word's for you, and this one, this this verse here is not for you. This will send you to hell. And that one won't. And this one will. And that one, you know, <laughs> devils. Yeah, you know. Sorry, guys, computer is very very slow um, at the moment. I hope it's not interfered too much, but I realise the the graphics in the videos are very very slow. Apologise about that. You know, if you want to help me out with these things, um, I have a Patreon account now. You can donate to that, so that will help. Um, but this is what I was talking about earlier, related to the one of the fallen angelic um, powers, the prince and power of the air mentioned in the Bible. So they pose as UFOs, as, as different aliens, but mentioned uh, here in the Bible, you can put Astaroth and you can get a lot of scriptures to do with that. video I did a while ago so I'll leave uh, the link below to it if you want to support the videos on Patreon please uh, do that but uh, you can see it's spelled different ways if you put it into your King James Bible um, but it refers to the so called alien deception and it's being heavily censored on YouTube guys very heavily censored so uh, yeah Especially support me with your your prayers and uh, thanks for watching. May the Lord bless you.